On 0.3, we're talking about midpoints. So recall that a midpoint is just a point on the line segment that divides the segment into two congruent parts. I mark them congruent with those little vertical tick marks. And I can write AM congruent to MB to um, talk about them in a written format. Um, if you're looking for a formula, here it is. But it's easier for most kids to think of your midpoint as the average of your x values and the average of your y values. So we're going to practice a few of them. Um, I'm finding the midpoint of 10, negative 3, and 2, 6. I'm taking both my x values, so 10 and 2. Add them and divide by 2. Do the same thing with your y's. So negative 3 plus 6 divided by 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Cut in half gives me 6. 3, or negative 3 plus 6 rather, gives me positive 3. Cut in half gives me positive 1.5. Doing the same thing on example 2. My first x value, negative 4, plus my second, negative 10, divided by 2, gets me negative 14 divided by 2, which works out to be negative 7. Do the same thing with your y's. Negative 3 and positive 3 added together and divided by 2 gives me 0 over 2, or just 0. My final example then, I've got negative 2, positive 9, and 2, negative 8. Negative 2 plus positive 2 divided by 2 gives me 0. 9 plus negative 8 becomes 1 divided by 2 gives me 1 half. On this next example, I'm going to um, do some algebra to solve it, and then I'm also going to show how I can solve it visually. So to solve it algebraically, I know my first endpoint is at negative 2. I don't know my second one, so I'm going to call it x. And I know that if I take negative 2, add x to it, and then divide it by 2, that has to work out to equal my midpoint's x value, negative 6. And now I can go ahead and solve that using algebra. So I can multiply both sides by 2 and then add 2 over. Repeating that same process for my y value gives me my known y value plus my unknown y value all divided by 2 has to work out to be the y value of my midpoint, 0. I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 2 on both sides and then add my 10 over. And I get that my ordered pair then is negative 10, 10. The other way I can think of this is um, on a number line. So if I think about my x values, if negative 2 is one endpoint and negative 6 is my midpoint, I had to have subtracted 4 to get from negative 2 to negative 6. Well, I'm only at the midpoint, so to get to the other end point, I need to subtract an additional 4. And I land at negative 10. I can follow that same strategy for my y value. This time my endpoint started at negative 10. My midpoint was at 0. Well, to get from negative 10 to 0, I must have added 10. So I need to add an additional 10 to my midpoint in order to find my missing endpoint. Same exact idea on example 5. I can take my known endpoint plus my missing divided by 2 and make an algebraic formula. My known y value plus my missing y value divided by 2. Taking negative 12 plus my unknown x divided by 2 and setting it equal to negative 10 gets me negative 12 plus x equal to negative 20. Adding the 12 over, my x value needs to be negative 8. Repeat, repeat that process with my y value, 10 plus y divided by 2, multiply by 2 on both sides to get 10 plus y is 4, and then subtract. Or I can think of it in terms of a number line. 
my x value negative 12, my midpoint is at negative 10. I went up 2, so I need to go up 2 more to find my missing x value. Same thing with my y. I started at 10. My midpoint landed me at 8, which means I went down 8. Go down 8 again, and I land at negative 6.